Our friendly put in work. Dude, is he still putting in work? Dude, our friendly put in work. Way to go, dude. What up guys, Astro Manny here, back at it again with another video, and welcome back to a player, a new player's guide, and we got the Pew Pew Luminalia SMG. Welcome back guys to a new player's guide, and today we're going to show you the fastest way to grind bunkers, at least in the Microtech area. It might work in other locations, as long as they have these missions as well, but I'm going to show you guys the fastest way. To earn some bunker rep and get your bunker XP up as fast as you can. So if you like that, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to take our bunker gear from our previous missions and our previous episodes to go run some more bunkers and get more gear. But we're going to be fast about it, and I'm not going to pick up the gear myself. But you guys can pick up the gear as new players if you want while you're looting and doing all this stuff. But I'm not going to pick up too much of the gear myself. I'm just going to do the missions. Do it, try to do it quickly and see how much rep we can earn by doing one or two loops of this. So, again, show that support. Appreciate you guys by sharing the video and doing things like that. And hitting that notification bell so you know when I go live and do other things of that sort. Appreciate you guys as always. What we're going to do here is we're going to go into our microtech land of uh possibilities and that is um wow look at all those retrieval lot missions i'm not trying to do retrieval lot missions anymore and they just give me a crap ton of retrieval lot missions watch there be the seize the data mission too and watch this be accepted and work correctly now it doesn't ha rolling with the punches going back in the past rolling with the punches anyways what we're going to do guys is we're going to do a defend the oc occupants mission here we're going to accept that we're also going to accept call to arms for extra cash make sure you always accept call to arms for extra cash and then what i'm going to also show off is my microtech reputation so here is if you don't know you can go to the delphi app and check your reputation for all the systems the planets and um, a couple other caregiver mission uh, caregivers or, or, or whatnot and bounty hunting rep and things like that but what we're going to focus on is microtech because that's where we are and um, here on microtech the one that matters for bunkers is this one here that's scrolling the security one and you start off at zero right and you do that first security um, evaluation mission that i showed you in the last time uh last player guide and you will get a little bit of rep probably around to the S rank or something somewhere around there for just doing that one. And if you do a few more, you'll get a bit more of rep and whatnot. But you get a little bit of rep for completing each mission each time. And the way to gain rep in this category is by doing mercenary tab missions. And you should be able to gain rep by doing mercenary tab missions for anyone that says that they are from Microtech Protection Services. You see, so we took the defend occupants, but all these missions, most of them in here, or I believe all, well, most of them, not that one, uh, not that one, say Microtech Protection Services as their caregiver mission, their mission giver, right? So we've accepted defend the occupants. What we're going to do afterwards is we're going to do these illegal monitor missions for 20k, by the way, guys. Okay, so you're going to get 15k for doing your bunker. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do illegal monitor missions for 20k. This is actually a ship fighting mission. But the reason why you do this after you do your defend occupants is because defend occupants goes on cooldown. So while defend occupants is on cooldown, you go and do an illegal monitor mission. And then when that's done, you come back and you do another mission of defend occupants or a different bunker of some sorts and whatnot and you don't have to deal with any criminal bunkers or anything like that it's all friendly bunkers um and uh whatnot so yeah you got to do a little bit of ship com combat but guess what you're going bunker ship combat bunker ship combat bunker ship combat so you're mixing it up not doing the same thing over and over and you're also 
um, honing both those skills, honing your skills as a star citizen FPS player and a ship combat player. So you're getting a little bit of learning here and there on both things. What is better than that? Yeah, I just gave my secret away here in the intro. My bad. But now let's do gameplay, right? It's important to see the gameplay. It's a new player's guide. I'm also doing a server that is completely out of control and it's 30 FPS, perfect NPCs. The AI are going to be crazy strong, crazy good. Thankfully, we're going to have security guards that are crazy good, crazy strong down there as well. So hopefully the security guards can take out some of the uh, nine tails bad guys for us and not have it be super scary by the time we get down there. But we're going to do this on, on a clock. Not really on a clock. I'm not going to time myself, but we're going to try to be fast about it. It's absolutely gorgeous, by the way, pulling in here. Absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, yeah. We're, we're just going to go kind of as fast as we can, but it, not too fast to where we're going to die. We may die. We may not die. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't died yet on this new player series for you guys, but... It's bound to happen, especially when I'm doing bunkers solo on a 30 FPS server. I do not recommend to do bunkers solo on a 30 FPS server. One mistake and you're donezo. We're just going to fly through the clouds here like a madman. It's okay. You could scan to see where the ground is if you're scared. Because, I mean, I know I'm not really near the ground, but I'm also a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> because that ground could come up real fast and now we can clearly see the ground right so we're not we're not worried about anything anymore we're just worried about getting to that bunker fast completing these missions fast using our guns going pew 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 fast i don't have a silencer by the way we haven't bought anything in this new player series yet we haven't bought anything we haven't spent our money at all what i do recommend doing maybe what I should have done, what I could have shown to do, is buy a silencer for bunkers. If you brought, if you buy a silencer for bunkers, the 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 enemies when you shoot them and kill them, they won't know where they got shot from, and it keeps you kind of hidden and safe, and can be very helpful. So, I do recommend silencers. They can be helpful but as you can see we're already down to nine out of our ten enemies we're just gonna get there we're gonna go there as fast as we can quick 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 i'm gonna leave my door open because i'm a madman i suggest you guys close your doors but uh again we're down to seven out of ten do we care about killing the guys no if the computer kills them all for us that's fine and dandy but as you can see there's only one more ai helper down there and he's gone so we have to kill seven of them solo by ourselves with no silencer we have plenty of ammo but seven of them solo by ourselves red box why not check it cool green armor some carna rifle i think it was a carna rifle it might have been a shotgun okay we're just going to take him out now one thing that you can say about a non-silence weapon is since you have a non-silence weapon they will hear you and you could have the enemies come to you it's gonna smack in that guy's still alive Thirty FPS server. We're gonna be we're gonna play it cautious. I wanna go get him. But I also don't want to step out there and get shot from the higher ground. Now that I have markers for them and I know where they're at, I'll be less afraid to step out. But you see how there's a guy upstairs? If that guy upstairs would just like do the right thing. Oh, watch the reload. Yeah. 
Watch the reload, guys. These enemies are no joke. I can't see them. It's just a small fry. He doesn't even have a gun. <laughs> just a small fry without a gun. Alright. 30 FPS bunker completed. Alright, I'm proud of myself for that. It's been a while since I do solo bunkers. Um, it can be a lot more stressful when you're solo and your life is in your own hands and there's no one here to save you kind of thing than having buddies to help you out or if you go down, right? Another P6 sniper rifle. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that because the P6 is a heck of a gun, guys. Get yourself a P6. Have some fun with it. Um, we're also going to try to replenish the ammo that we used on our um, SMG here. I don't see any SMG, guys. Did we go through th this whole bunker and not have any SMG, guys? I mean, we still have 160 ammo. Again, I'm trying to be fast about this, but... Apparently, I don't see any SMG, guys. Oh, well. And obviously, you could take the armor of the enemies and the and the good guys, whatever armor you want. Um, search all the red boxes. Take all the guns and ammo and all the things that you can possibly get, if you want to. If, if that's Oh, here, here we go. Here's an SMG guy. Here's an SMG guy. Replenish our ammo. Voila. And that's it. I'm out of here. That's all I need. That's all I want. Um, we're going to go ahead and check our, our 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 stuff once we get to our... What do you call it? Our ship? <laughs> Loss of words. I was trying to be a little bit quick, but pew pew pew. I love this gun, by the way. Just... SMGs are cool. The Custodian is much better, but the reason why... I, again, I'm using the S or the C54 here is because some of the NPCs will be able to replenish my ammo while the custodian ammo will not be able to be replenished because none of the NPCs that carry custodians down there carry ammo. So now that I'm here, I can take this. There's so little room in the Aurora. <laughs> take this P6 off and put it in the ship and even put the ammo in the ship be much easier put that away and then let's check our reputation we open up the Delphi app go down to Microtech services and that from where we were at the start which was like right about here or so has already got us to level two so now we're at the very very beginning of level two and let's do a our next mission um, we've already unlocked clear side of contraband and stuff that's really cool so that you get that at level two All right. That's interesting. It's been a long time since I've done um, some bunker missions. My, what, on my old mission, on my old guide on showing you how to grind bunker rep, I had you guys do remove illegal occupants and then do um, defend occupants back and forth. The thing with remove illegal occupants is this is only nine tails in the bunker, and it's a nine tails bunker, so the turrets are hostile, making it less efficient. Because you have to either bring a bigger ship and destroy the turrets, or land far away and walk or take a ground vehicle. So, it's less efficient to do these remove illegal occupants. But that is bunker, 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 bunker. Like I said, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to um, do this illegal monitors detected in the microtech controlled space on the comm array around Microtech, you see, because we're on Microtech right now, so we might as well do the Microtech one. So comm array ST422 around Microtech. We're going to go ahead and accept this. We're going to do this mission. It says monitors located, 0 out of 3, monitors destroyed, 3 out of 3. Um, I, I think that's a little bit, that last part is a little bit interesting, the way that's worded, but okay. Anyways, 
let's close our doors, pull up our landing gear, and take off. And as always, look back and look at the gorgeousness of the view of Microtech. Oh my gosh. Look at those, look at those trees, look at those mountains. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry, I'm addicted to just looking back while I'm flying away. I should save camera views. It'd be much easier than just dragging the camera around, but hey. Whatever works. Anyways, so we have our mission marker for destroy illegal uh, illegal monitors detected. But we still gotta get out of the atmosphere of Microtech, so we gotta fly straight up. Or as straight up as we possibly can. Try to get that 90 degree angle on your um, alt meter. And we gotta get to 11k to get out of the Microtech atmosphere turn on that quantum and then find the nearest om marker om marker there we go om3 that will be our om of today of right now still can't reach our destroy monitor area so we'll go to om1 now remember, our rep for our Microtech security services is just barely at level 2. Just a barely tiny little sliver at level 2. We're going to go to the Kamarae, which normally would be a no-no area. is now a okay area because we are on the good side of the monitor at the moment so we're going to go fly into the monitor space where we get a green controlled security zone and we're going to look for the bad monitors and destroy them now there is going to be ai that come out and attack there's one of the monitors right there so one of the monitors right there the the goal for this mission is to find all three monitors but you want to find all three monitors before you destroy any of them. So that way you know where the monitors are located before you start destroying. Right? So we located one monitor. And you want to continuously scan to find these monitors, by the way. We've located a second monitor. We have no idea where the third monitor is, so we have to scan. We're going to scan and hopefully have some visualization of where we are. Some visualization of where we are. There's the Comrade. There we go. Go fly back towards the Comrade and keep scanning. There you go. You see, that should be where the other Comrade or the other monitor is. You just keep scanning and it'll pop up. We got really lucky right there finding those first two comrades right away. That's a friendly that's a friendly one. Like I said, this one out here is the one we're looking for. Okay, so there's the monitors. We've now located all three of them. So when we get close to this one, we can now open up fire and start blowing them up. And they're stationary targets. They do fire back at you, I believe. So don't don't you be stationary. But they are stationary targets, so you know. Do that. Real quickly fly over to the other ones, because once you start opening fire on the monitors, you only have five minutes to kill them. But as you can see that's no problem. You can even use missiles if you want to. Make sure that when you're going in, don't overshoot. They do have enemies come in to try to defend them. I would ignore them. Unless they really are being a pain, I would ignore them. Oh, my alarm is going off, and I'm in the middle of a space combat. That's not helpful. Hello, I'm recording. Thank you, alarm. Got it. Beautiful. 
fireworks. By the way, look at that. Beautiful fireworks when you destroy the freaking monitors. Beautiful fireworks. <laughs> One, two. Look how easy this is for 20k, guys. 20k! Cash money for doing monitor missions. And it goes and it levels up your rep. How cool is that? I overshot that by a lot. But that's okay. And the little Aurora that could has no problems at all doing these missions. Boom. Destroy all monitors. Objective complete. Look at the beautiful fireworks. Illegal monitor mission complete. Leave the area. 20k in your pocket. You don't even have to fight the other guys that are coming after you. Ignore them. Go to OM1 or OM2, whichever one you see first. And boom. Done. How cool is that? Now check your rep. Did your rep go up? It did. You see, it was a little tiny sliver. And now it's to the between the J and the R. Hello. Rep. Easy peasy. Defend occupants is up. Accept. Go to defend occupants. Clear microtech on microtech. Boom. Look at this beautiful rep grind. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful rep grind. It's, 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 it's making me so happy on how perfectly easy it is and how awesome it is. You can grind rep so fast, guys. You want max rep in an area? This is how you do it. This is how you grind max rep. Super fast. Super easy. If a wipe comes, this is how you do it. This is how I'm going to do it when a wipe comes. Trust me. And can you do this with friends? Yes. Does it slow you down? Yes. Do I recommend to do this solo? Yes. Do I recommend to have a friend in the party so that if you die, that friend can come help you? Yes. That is what I recommend. I recommend if you're doing rep grind for bunkers, for your mercenary tab, that you should have one friend on one planet, say you're doing microtech, and the other friend on crusader doing crusader. And don't share your missions, unless you want to. If you guys want to level up both at the same time, you can share your missions back and forth with each other. You can definitely do that. And then, you, But it would take a little bit longer to grind rep, but the thing is you'll be grinding both rep places at the same time. So if you wanted to do that, that's fine. But I recommend that you just do your missions, your friend does their missions, and if they die, you go pick them up. Or if you die, they come pick you up. Yes, they have to travel halfway across the freaking system to get to you because if they're in crusader and you're in microtech that's 57 million kilometers away so maybe that's not the most efficient way but it doesn't hurt to have a friend in the party to hang out with and talk to <laughs> nonetheless right or you just listen to me in the background throw on a live stream of astro manny while you're grinding listen to him in the background <laughs> he's a pretty cool guy right you know this commentary right here this amazing journey that we're going on right here together into this beautiful city town of microtech what more to ask for huh there's a scorpius down here there's some other ship that's down here that hid behind the the rocks for some reason because they were scared of the turrets why did they do that i don't know maybe there's something down there that we don't know about could be could not be this is actually a beautiful looking bunker this is actually a beautiful looking bunker. Oh. Sorry. You know how I am with my camera views. Beautiful looking bunker. Beautiful. Come in nice and slow. Just enjoy the view. Look at that. Look at that view. Oh my goodness. Look at that view. I can't even. 9 out of 10 already. 
8 out of 10 already. I forgot that, you know, people are dying while we're messing around with views. Do bunkers work? Elevators here. I don't know. Bunkers seem pretty good to me. We have two NPCs still alive. Two NPCs still alive. One NPC alive. Seven out of ten. You can see that the NPCs have the triangles on their head. Did I forget to mention that in all my videos of the bunkers? Whoops. Oh, shit! Holy cow! Did you... 30 FPS. That woke me up. Do he snipe me? All right, we put our serious face on. We're gonna dump the rest of our magazine. Oh, we still got a we still got a friendly down there. A friendly's t put it in work. A friendly's put it in work. I don't like that. Oh, we only have seven bullets. We gotta retreat. We gotta retreat. We only got seven bullets. Dump the magazine. Our friendly put in work. Dude, is he still putting in work? Dude, our friendly put in work. Way to go, dude. These guys have P8s. Those are cool guns. AO3, Custodian with Custodian magazines. Oh, look, here's the ammo we need. Beautiful. So there's always good guns to grab, right? We'll look for uh, other options. That guy's dead. No back, no, no box there, no box. Here's a box. Even though, oh, look, another railgun, guys. You guys want the railgun? It's there. Hold on. The railgun only fits on the one side. Come on, put it on. <laughs> I'll grab the railgun just for you guys, because I know you guys want the railgun. <laughs> I have plenty of railguns, guys. That's why I don't ever grab them while I'm on missions, because I have so many of them that it doesn't matter. Oh, tiger claws. These green boxes have tiger claws. We want those. It doesn't matter how many tiger claws I have, I always pick up the tiger claws. Red box. That's a nice little armor set there. People can grab it if you want it. I mean, obviously, you can't grab the one that I just found because it's going to be gone and you're not on my server and all that stuff. But point is, loot some boxes, have some fun, make some rep, have a good time. Man. That NPC, he got me. Like, he woke me up. That first one, he was coming. He was hungry. Got some spare ammo. We're good to go. You see how easy it is to do to these, these defend occupants? And this is full-on 30 FPS servers, guys. Full-on 30 FPS server. How do I know? I can press the little tilde button. Press R, hit tab a few times, go to display info, hit the one button, and then press tilt again. Look at that. Flat 30 FPS server. Flat. Wild. 30 FPS. This server is cracked. I need someone to get online right now to save this server forever for everybody. Holy cow. US server too can't get much better than that let's take this uh railgun off of our back we didn't grab the railgun ammo by the way i know i know i didn't grab the railgun ammo i'm so sorry 
I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't grab the railgun ammo. Okay. Let's take a look at our reputation now. Microtech. We're past the R now. It takes a long time to get rep on bunkers, but hey, it's here. This one. Around Microtech. Same mission. Except track. Go. Two loops of this in 30 minutes, including my intro. And my intro was long. Ish. It wasn't like really long. Oh, the scene. The scene. Oh. Oh, scoop it around. Beautiful. Yes, I know I have the 30 FPS thing still up, so it kind of ruins the beauty of it. So we'll just get out of here as fast as we can. I'm even going to throw on cruise control so I can take that off while I'm cruise controlling. It's called efficiency. Cruise control. Go. Tilt the button. Stick. Tab. Zero. Gone. From screen. Take back control from cruise control. Hit the boosters. Nine K. 10k, 11k, we're out of here. Nearest OM marker. There it is. OM1, beautiful. One shot straight to the comma ray. Easy peasy. The farm of awesomeness. This. I don't care what anyone says, this is the fastest way to be efficient bunker grind on the rep. You can't get much faster than this. You legit can't. Like, going back and forth between these two missions, letting them come off cooldown. There's our freaking monitors. Found one. Found two. One monitor found. And I'm doing this. I'm whipping this thing, by the way, guys. About to lose consciousness. Whipping this around. Speed demon. Is that the one? That's the one. Already found all three. Perfection. Slowing it down. Swapping the guns. I'm running non-gimbaled because it allows me to be more accurate with my shots than actually gimbaled does. Plus it doesn't have that little bug where the one gun doesn't do what it needs to be doing. Enemy down. Moving on to the next one. Swap the thrusters real quick so we can get more power into those just for a little bit. Start slowing down because we're moving really quickly. Hitting the brakes, hitting the brakes, opening fire, slowing us down as we swing by. And boom goes the fireworks. Look at that. Beautiful fireworks. I really love how these things have fireworks. I really do. It's really cool. It's a nice little touch. Full power into weapons. Look how much fuel we use. Alright, look at that. Stopping right in the nose of the monitor. And boom goes the fireworks. Gorgeous. Mission complete. Let's get out of here. OM1, OM2. OM1 it is. That's going to be it, guys. I'm not going to do another loop. You guys get the gist. That's how it's done. Let's, as soon as we quantum away, we'll check our Delphi app. Check our Delphi app. Microtech services. We're now on the S. Moving pretty quickly. It's a grind. But in 30 minutes, we went that far. 
that's pretty good. That's pretty crazy good, guys. Pretty crazy good. We're going to call it there. We're going to end this player guide in the back bed of the Aurora. That's the new end spot. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate you guys so much. Um, you guys know that there's the membership program if you want to go that extra mile and join in on the membership program. And, uh, you know, uh, there's going to be lots of cool perks in the future. Like, I'm going to start shouting out every single member in the middle randomly in some of my videos. It's going to be cool. We're going to do awesome things. This community is going places. Thank you, guys. This is Astro Manny signing off. Like, comment, subscribe. Notification bell. Thank you. Hope you have a wonderful day. And, you know, as always, adios. Till next time. Yeah.